Hey guys, Fear Strike here with another Army Showcase video. This time it's my Moon Clan Grots. Since I finished my Grot War Boss on Great Cave Squig, I decided to throw in my other Moon Clan Grots and showcase the army. I don't have any centerpieces of this army per se. I mean, if I had a Mangler Squig, that would probably be it, and maybe down the line I'll grab two or something. I'm not really too sure. I'm not the biggest fan of those models, particularly, even though I like the regular squats and the uh, squig hoppers, but I like the... <laughs> did I say squats? Yeah, I mean the regular squigs. I like the regular squigs and the squig hoppers, but and the, of course the gigantic cave squig, but for some reason I'm not the biggest fan of the, the two mangler squigs or the mangler squig model, but who knows? I'm one of those guys who will see how our army is kind of constructed and then just add accordingly but I'm pretty happy with what I got right now and without further ado I'm going to start with my most recent model which is the great cave squig see in all its glory 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 did I say glory glory um, of course the head is from the Gretchen kit I think or it's not the typical Grot war boss head that comes with this kit and I didn't put the shield on because I didn't find it fitting enough or I didn't like the fit of it and I guess I didn't want to paint and of course Cora is back again knocking down my models last video she was into my McDonald's um, behind these guys is my squake hoppers and they are really fun to look at they're all trying to hold on Except for this one, this guy just fell over. And uh, yeah, these are very animated. One thing I like about orcs and goblins, or aurochs and grots, is that their expressions and their their lore, or their their kind of army, kind of battling. And yeah, these guys exemplify that. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> Moving on, I got a big bust of grot, moon clan grot spearmen with the spider fang grot banner there in front at the time I just wanted I just wanted to have a little fun so I put that on there um, yeah this unit's fully stacked with netters and there's some fanatics which are a cool unit I think what I like about the moon clan grots is because the random movements and etc make, make battles even funner than they already are uh, on the corner there, you can see there's a Grot War Boss, which I'm just going to probably use as the unit champion because I have other kind of heroes allocated, including uh, like the Great Cave Squig. And there's one of my Shaman, which is another character. I think magic is useful in this new edition, even though I haven't really played any games at all. Well, probably one, but that was... Just the intro game, uh, th and with my dispossessed, I think they're called. Another fanatic. Another look at the fanatics spinning their way with uh, mushroom brew. Uh, I got 15 squigs. No herders though. I don't know if that affects them or anything now in this new edition of Age of Sigmar. They are painted that way because they're in the desert. They're desert squigs, and um. There's a lot of red in my. These guys are called the Red Hoods Moon Clan Grot, so I wanted to use red on them instead of the squigs and have a differentiation. This unit is more Grots, Moon Clan Grots, just with slitters and bows, um, some old school netters, and there's a Grot War Boss who's just going to be like their champion. And finally, last but not least, I got this guy with the other shaman in the blister pack. And he's gonna be shooting mushroom magic at my enemies. So that's pretty much my army. I hope you guys like it. As I said, it looks kind of small with the, without a centerpiece model, like those mangler squigs. But I'm happy with what I got. And I can't wait to try these guys out in battle and see how it goes with all the randomness that they they kind of show. I think it'll be fun.
Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you like this double video upload.